The other day I was perusing through YouTube and I came across Monson made this sushi video and I figured, heck, I need to make this because my hubby loves him some sushi. So here we are today trying to remake his <laughs> wonderful looking sushi. I hope I can do it well because I don't have all of the ingredients, but I'm going to make do. If you guys don't already know me, my name is Gia. I'm the creator of Do It Well. We make crave-worthy protein treats like cinnamon rolls and bread. And I just like to eat, laugh, and lift. <laughs> Welcome. If you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and let's be friends. And if you're watching this video and you like it, give it a thumbs up. Let's go ahead and get started. I should start by saying that I've got myself as fully prepped as much as possible. My ingredients are laid out. I have got his recipe printed out on paper. And I also have his YouTube video on my iPad because I cannot mess this one up. First thing on the agenda is cooking the rice. He says one and a half cups of rice and then just follow the instructions on the package. While I get that rice going, I'm gonna start working on eel salt. Combine all the sauce ingredients into a small saucepan. Bring the sauce to the The eel sauce has Bragg's aminos, white sugar, mirin, water, cornstarch, sesame oil, and a splash of dark soy sauce if available. I don't have it. that off of the stove and let it cool. So just as I was getting my sauce getting ready to simmer, I asked my husband, should I be doubling this recipe? He's like, I don't know. You know I can eat sushi. So I said, okay. So I've actually just doubled the rice as well as doubled the sauce. Then I'm gonna be doubling the rest of everything. Wish me luck. Next, I'm making the eggplant eel. Eggplant, I love eggplant. I freaking love eggplant. I can inhale eggplant. Like seriously, we go to the, like these vegan Chinese restaurants and I always order eggplant dish and it's like, oh. <laughs> Anyways, 350 degrees, preheat your oven, slice your eggplant into one fourth inch thick slices. If you have mandolin, use it. If you don't, be really careful, but still cut them. I don't peel the eggplant. Do I peel the eggplant? I have to look at his video. He doesn't peel the eggplant. <sighs> Can I just have what he made? So he says to use a mandolin. I used to have a mandolin. I just don't know where it is. It's probably like tucked away. Darla probably took it and put it somewhere. So instead, what I'm doing is I'm sharpening my knife really, really well. So if you guys don't have a chef's knife at, at home, I really recommend you buy one um, and always have a sharpening tool because the sharper your knife is, the safer you are in the kitchen because there's a lot less slippage that happens when you're cutting things just because your knife can just go through things pretty easily. If you guys want me to do a video of how I sharpen my knife, in the comments below, put sharpen my knife for me. And Okay, so I've got two of my silk pads over here because the next step is to take the eggplant slices, put it on silk pad or parchment paper, take your sauce, take a brush, brush it over, bake it for 15 minutes on one side, flip it over, sauce the other side, 10 more minutes. I don't care, you can see my mess here. I'm a real girl cooking real things. <laughs> okay, while my eggplant is baking in the oven and while my rice is cooling, I'm going to make the spicy mayo. Vegan mayo, sriracha, and it says add salt and sugar to taste, but honestly, I don't know that I want to because you know how you go to restaurants and everything is so delicious until you try to make it at home and you're like, what the heck, I ate that much sugar? That'll do. I've gone ahead and transferred the rice into a giant bowl. This is the bowl that I use when I'm prepping for bodybuilding because I eat so much voluminous food. Yeah, like for one meal, this is my plate. But I've moved all the rice here because you can see it's still steaming and sushi rice should be room temperature. What you need to do is you need to fluff your rice. You sort of like air out the rice so it becomes fluffy and gives more kind of surface area for it to cool down. Next on the list is cucumber. <laughs> the easiest way to seed your cucumbers is to cut them into quarters like this and then you'll see you could basically cut a 
triangle out. And ta-da! Awesome! Bet you by golly wow, these look pretty good. I'm actually just going to go ahead and move these guys to parchment paper. I don't want them to stick even more to my, my silicone mat. Twist of events. I remember this other recipe that he had for like a spicy crab roll. I'll link that down in the description box below. But I do have these like pre-marinated tofus which he uses and basically he shreds it on a uh, grater. This and basically just mixes with mayo. I'm lucky enough to have a bamboo sushi roller. The only thing I don't like about this, guys, is I actually have to wrap it with saran wrap, which I try to actually minimize the amount of saran wrap I use. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this guy with saran wrap. Um, I've cleaned up my working area just a little bit, and we're going to get a rolling, 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 rolling. I don't really know how to pick um, nori sheets, but these are the ones I got. They're roasted. Like they're making hand rolls. So like that's okay for sushi, right? <laughs> the next thing I've actually got to get ready is my avocados. I've got my sushi mat over here and my eggplant, avocado, and tofu mix over there. Sesame is at the top. And I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, cucumbers and stuff. They're on the plate too. You guys never really realize how much rice you're putting in sushi until you actually have to make it. And then on top of that, you have the sushi vinegar, the rice wine vinegar, which is more sugar. So this is where I'm not exactly going to follow his lead. I'm just going to put it together the way I feel like doing it. freaking hey I estimated it was gonna take about three hours to do this so I was probably about three hours maybe ten I don't really know somewhere in between <laughs> but it's finally done at some point I was like I gotta make this pretty and then I just sort of gave up on life and that's what happened but I'm actually pretty proud how's that for sushi are you getting sushi Had some bunch of leftover stuff, so the eggplant I topped up with here, cucumbers I put there, the random tidbits I made to like reject little sushi rolls. I'm really excited to eat, but here's what I would say freaking A, man. <laughs> you make it look so easy. And respect, much respect to all the sushi chefs out there because you're like a unicorn of the unicorns. But other than that, this was really fun. For the people that are interested in the macronutrients, I'm gonna put those macronutrients somewhere here. Mind you, mine is double of what he made. And I also put the tofu mixture into these rolls again. So this is going to be higher macronutrients than what I'm actually going to put here. <laughs> this is his original recipe. And again, I'll have his recipes linked down below, both of them. The sushis that I combine into this monstrosity of sushiness. <laughs> Alright guys, if you had fun watching me make mistakes, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, that notification bell, let's be friends. I will be posting every Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific time. <laughs> I hope this was fun for you guys. Um, I gotta go eat and try it now. Okay, here's the moment of truth. The first bite. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. Mm, I don't want a giant, giant one. That's kind of hard to pick out. Anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna try it without the coconut aminos and wasabi. Here we go. Mmm. Okay, here's another bite. <laughs> That's real good. Go sit down and give me my hubby. Bye guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching. See ya.